All right, we have a what I believe will be a full card for Survivor Series, particularly given that two of the matches are five on five elimination matches. Well, yeah, we have the whole card. But Six. I mean, we, we we we've had the whole card since day one. I well, mean, sure, but they 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 bother to announce half of the matches on the Go Home Show here today. Damian Priest, Shinsuke Nakamura, champion versus champion. RK Bro versus the Usos. Big E versus Roman Reigns. Becky versus Charlotte. And then at this point, we have Bianca, Rhea, Liv Morgan, Carmella, and Zelina against Sasha, Shayna, Shotzi, Natty, and a mystery fifth person, which we may find out about on Friday. And for Raw, or for the men, we've got Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Kevin Owens, Bobby Lashley, Austin Theory, replacing Rey Mysterio, versus Drew, Jeff Hardy, King Woods, Happy Corbin, and a TBA, which presumably will be announced on Friday. So they're just there's like they're just throwing stuff at the wall. I mean, there's, you know, the card. They announce teams. They switch teams. They take people out of the team on well, that every was, show. That was, I think that that's that was probably the you know, it was very clear. Like sometimes they make changes where you can tell that like they're just changing their mind on the fly. This one, I think it's pretty clear that their whole idea was to build excitement for the match by changing players in the match. Because obviously Bobby Lashley in, in the Dominic position was probably always the plan. Um, and then whatever, you know, I mean, I think the idea is, is that they're, you know, sw- you know, and, and I mean, obviously like the other big key thing is, is that uh, they're trying to make Adam Pierce into a heel. And it's like, that's like their big thing. So it's like, but again, you know, when, I don't want to say when things are bad, but when things are struggling, and they are struggling in a lot of ways, even though financially they certainly aren't, but um, when that happens, Vince reverts back to the past. I mean, you're going to, you know, I mean, we've seen it with the type of people that they want. We've seen it with, you know, I mean, you know, just all their moves, all of their moves are the moves that they would make, which is, you know, and again, you got Vince who's 70 six years old you got bruce who's probably 60 you know roughly 60 61 i think and probably 60 and that's what that's what they're gonna know you know i mean they're gonna only know their glory period and they want to revert back to it so it's always going to be a heel authority figure bigger guys let's get some more bodybuilders you know let's recruit prettier women and dress them sexier that's what you're going to do so that's that's the battle plan now is go back to the past and some people like that and you know i'm not saying it will work i won't say it won't work but in different times different things work and um usually usually when things bounce back they don't bounce back by copying the past they bounce back by um coming up with new things and new ideas and things like that but um but we're probably not going to have i mean like you know from the people in charge we're not going to have new ideas we're you know that's just it's just not going to happen with the people that they have in charge right now you're so what you're going to have is let's go back to the past and and uh that's what they're doing so um but yeah the they at least on raw tonight there were at least some interviews talking about some of the matches there was sort of an angle for the RK Bro and Usos. I mean, they they did something, which is more than you can say. Roman Reigns and Big E, you know, pretty much have done nothing other than there was a promo, you know, by um, Rain. I mean, by Big E tonight, and I'm sure Reigns will probably do a promo on Friday. And then, um, you know, the um, Nakamura and um, Damian Priest, nothing, zero, not a not a word. Base. I mean, there's a word, but no promotion whatsoever, no interaction whatsoever. Um, and, um, yeah, and the, the two, you know, the, as far as the, the, um, tag matches, it's just, you know, teams fighting with teammates. There's been no interaction with the other brand. There's been no, you know, a hype or anything. No promos about the other brand other than, you know, it's all about just replacing members and fighting with members and things like that. So, um. The show's just uh, six days away, five days away. So, I mean, I would I would say without a shadow of a doubt, without a shadow of a doubt, this is the weakest promoted Survivor Series show in history. And um, you know, 
They're in Barclays Center. Ticket sales have been slow uh, for a show that, you know, traditionally, if it was at Barclays Center, this show would have sold out first day or, or first week. And it's, you know, it, it's not doing that. Also, um, Mania um, tickets, you know, I mean, they're, I don't have a number, but they're, you know, you could tell from the push really hard and everything like that, you know, I mean, far, 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 far from, from a sellout. I, I mean, I didn't expect it would be this quick. And even like, um, the first time they went to AT&T stadium, it actually didn't sell out until I'm thinking a week out, you know, and that was for one show. So, um, you know, it's not like, I mean, there have been years where WrestleMania, you know, sold out, you know, not a lot of years, but where it sold out right away, you know, the first day. I think there was one year that was like one of the, one of the ones, the, the Houston one, and that was 17. That's also a different world. We shouldn't even be comparing stuff to that year. But um, I remember that year, like, they sold out instantly. Um, but this one, they, um, you know, I know that the number was lower than they expected. And also, I think it's funny because when I talked with them um, a couple weeks ago, and, um, you know, it's like, you know, we're going to make it because we're going to do two shows. We're going to make it price wise, um, you know, easier. And they did not do that. And that may have been a mistake. I mean, the price is really high, high enough to scare people away. And that's the one thing is like you, you know, I mean, there is a certain thing you can charge more money for WrestleMania than any other show. Um, and, but there is a limit you know, in everything as far as how much you can charge. I mean, and each market has a different limit. I mean, the New York market is like what you can charge in New York or what you can charge in Las Vegas are much, much higher numbers than what you could charge in other markets. And they went with a real heavy, um, high, high price, really high prices for two shows. So that's going to be tough. And they may, you know, I know that some tickets have already been lowered. So I do expect, you know, it may have been one of those things where we st we start off with super high prices, figuring that the people who really want tickets bad will pay those prices. And there will be a lot of them, and there were. Um, and then we start lowering it afterwards. So that may be, you know, how it all turns out is then they're going to start lowering it and trying to get more people, which is, um, I mean, that's just the way tickets are now. I mean, I would say, like, you know, it, it used to be, you know, the they would put tickets on sale for a show and these are the prices and that's the deal. You know, now you put tickets on sale, you go with very, very high prices and you sell the high price tickets to the people who want them fast. And then when you got, if you got empty seats where, and you always do, then you start lowering prices, you know, until you can sell a lot of tickets. I mean, WWE does this a lot. That's one of the reasons why WWE tickets, um, you know, they sell more tickets after the first day as compared with AEW, which really sells the vast, like with AEW, like you pretty much know, you have a good idea if a show is going to do good or bad day one. Um, with WWE, there are shows where it looks like it's not going to do real well. And by the end, it does okay or even good because they will, you know, continually lower prices until they get the price to a point where more people will, will buy. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week, you can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.